Love Letter, June 1476. My known heartily beloved cousin Catherine, I recommend me unto you with all the inwardness of mine heart. And now lately you shall understand that I received a token from you, the which was and is to me right heartily welcome, and with glad will I received it. And over that I had a letter from Hollock, your gentle squire, by the which I understood right well that you be in good health of body and merry at heart. And I pray God heartily to his pleasure to continue the same, for it is to me very great comfort that you be so, so help me Jesus. And if you be a good eater of your meat always, that you might wax and grow fast to be a woman, you should make me the gladdest man of the world by my truth. For when I remember your favour and your sad, loving dealing to me with, forsooth you make me even very glad and joyous in my heart. And on the other side again, when I remember your young youth and see well that you be no eater of your meat, the which should help you greatly in waxing, forsooth, then you made me very heavy again. And therefore I pray you, mine own sweet cousin, even as you love me to be merry and to eat your meat like a woman. And if you so will do for my love, look what you will desire of me, whatsoever it be. And by my truth I promise you by the help of our Lord to perform it to my power. I can no more say now, but at my coming home I will tell you much more between you and me and God before. And whereas you, full womanly and like a lover, remember me with manyfold recommendation in diverse manners, remitting the same to my discussion to depart them there as I love best, forsooth, mine own sweet cousin, you shall understand that with good heart and good will I receive and take to myself the one half of them, and them will I keep by me. And the other half, with heartily love and favour, I send them to you, mine own sweet cousin again, for to keep by you. And over that youth the blessing that Our Lady gave her dear son, and ever well to fare. I pray you greet well my horse, and pray him to give you three of his years to help you withal, and I will at my coming home give him four of my years, and four horse loaves till amends. Tell him that I prayed him so. And cousin Catherine, I thank you for him, and my wife shall thank you for him hereafter for you do great cost upon him, as it is told me. Mine own sweet cousin, it was told me but late that you were at Callas to seek me, but you could not see me nor find me. Forsooth, you might have come to my counter, and there you should both find me and see me, and not have faulted off me. But you sought me in a wrong Callas, and that you should well know if you were here and saw this Callas, as would God you were, and some of them with you that were with you at your gentle callers. I pray you, gentle cousin, command me to the clock, and pray him to amend his unthrift manners, for he strikes ever in undue time, and he will be ever a fool, and that is a shrewd condition. Tell him without he amend his condition that he will cause strangers to avoid and come no more there. I trust you that he shall amend against mine coming, the which shall be shortly with all hands and all feet with God's grace. My very faithful cousin, I trust you that though all I have not remembered my right worshipful mistress to your mother afore in this letter, that you will of your gentleness recommend me to her mistressship as many times as it shall please you. And you may say, if it please you, that in Whitson week next I intend to the Martwood. And I trust you will pray for me, for I shall pray for you. And so it may be none so well. And Almighty Jesus make you a good woman, and send you many good years, and long to live in health and virtue to his pleasure. At great callers on this side on the sea, the first day of June, when every man was gone to his dinner, and the clock smote no one, and all our household cried after me and bade me come down, come down to dinner at once. And what answer I gave him, you know it of old. Be your faithful cousin and lover, Thomas Betson, I sent you this ring for a token. <laughs>